Hello, everybody. It's Monday, so it's Mondays with Mark, and Steve's filming. Hello. That's it. Hello, everyone. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, so I thought I would do a, uh, a DIY today, and um, I think I have it planned pretty good. I've never done it before, so we're going to see. This will either be 30 seconds long, and you'll have no idea what to do, or it'll be like an hour long with way too much narrative. So let's just see. I had everything laid out. We're going to make um, nautical candle holders today. Um, these are really, really nice gifts and they sell very well at craft shows. Um, and there's several different variations of them, but I'm just going to do a real simple one for y'all. I've had a lot of success with these as gifts and selling them and they're, they're pretty cool. But anyway, so we're going to make these, um, candle holders, uh, all upcycled. So I'm going to go over the materials first. I guess that would be the that's what we'll do we'll do the materials first so we're going to make them out of jars so it's you can use any kind of jar that you want salsa jars and any kind so like there's that that um this is you know like a yankee candle mm -hmm. you burn it down you can reuse the jar for that i love upcycling stuff so i, I save a lot of jar <laughs> you know steven knows i save a lot of jars just a few we have a big <laughs> box filled with jars i just can't throw them away yeah. But anyway, and any type of jar will work. Um, for this video, we're going to use salsa jars. Mm -hmm. And this is a Tostito, but most of them are the same. They're like this. Well, they come in two sizes usually. They're like this. I find that these, you know, look the best and the easiest to do. So we're going to use a salsa jar. First thing you want to do... Oh, no, no, no. We're doing materials. So you need a jar. Then you need sand. Now, I have sand, obviously. Um... And this is actually from the beach. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't live by a beach or can't get, you know, actual beach sand, um, you can go to the craft store and get the real thing. It's pretty pricey, but also at the dollar store, they sell bags of sand too. Mm -hmm. And they come in different colors. They do have one that's supposed to be like natural looking sand, but you can tell it's fake sand. But these, these colored ones are really, really nice. And I'll show you... A well, I have a couple different ones ready to show you when they're finished and I made a few out of this type of sand But the majority of the ones I use is made with regular beach sand and this is from Long Beach Island So mm -hmm. um, your sand um, as you can see there's rocks and stuff. You just want to make sure you don't have these Big rocks in them. Okay, you don't have to sift it or anything These little ones and sticks and all that it just adds to it in my opinion Okay, mm -hmm. so you want to uh, get your sand out and a plastic container to put it in um, You know, uh, this is from a frozen dinner and I, I save those two to, to use them for other things so sand and a container to put the sand in then you'll need a brush you can use a brush like that or a foam brush. This is a cheapy foam brush. I think I'm going to use this brush today. Um, tacky glue. Uh, you can also, this is, you can get this at any, actually, I think they even have this at the dollar store too, although it's a smaller container. But um, I like the original tacky glue. I think it works best for, for pretty much everything I do. So there's that. Mm -hmm. And then you want to take it and you want to pour it into uh, a little container. This mm -hmm. is Bandit's little dinner container from his fancy feast. Again, I have a stack of these. I just can't throw them away. Anyway, so tacky glue. In addition to the tacky glue, you really should have some type of permanent glue. This is E6000. Permanent glue um, dries pretty quick, and it's it's pretty permanent, too. Um, both of these glues dry clear, too. So if you, for whatever reason, can't find tacky glue, just get a glue that dries clear. In addition to that, spray acrylic. Um, some felt circles, or these are pre-cut felt circles, or just a piece of felt, and you, we can cut a circle out of it. It's for the bottom of the candle holder. Mm -hmm. Um, and then some, you know, you'll need some scissors, uh, jewet twine, any type of natural rope or twine. We're going to use this type today. Again, you know, I'm at the, they have this at the dollar store too, but the craft, craft store. You'll need some votive holders to hold your candle. Uh, trinkets to kind of decorate the candle holder and I have some seashells obviously that's the obvious you know seashells there's a little claw there um, I have found that earrings make fantastic little accents for crafting um, 
these were 10 cents each mm. at Walmart. <laughs> so um sometimes i'll get that big pack they have of earrings that are like five bucks and it has like 50 pairs of earrings on there in all different shapes and sizes mm -hmm. because i use them for for different craft projects so there's that like for example today we're going to use the anchor that mm -hmm. was an earring so anyway that was a little more expensive that was a buck for two of them but anyway so I think the total cost of this project, depending, of course, if you have the items already, like I have a lot of this already, or if you have to buy it. I mean, you can make this for less than four bucks if you if if you had to buy the glue and stuff. I mean, it, it's really inexpensive. So we're going to make a candle, a nautical candle holder out of used jars. The first thing you're going to do is get your jar and you want to clean it inside and out and remove all the labels. So it's just plain glass. Um, you may have to use Goo Gone to get rid of some of the label that sticks on it. And I'm going to say that's probably my least favorite part of this entire project <laughs> is getting the labels off. But you want a nice, nice clean jar to start with, okay? And then get your sand ready, get your glue ready, get your brush ready. And you're going to coat the entire jar with your glue. This is so different doing this like on camera than it is doing it like when I'm just doing it at home. <laughs> anyway, I grab it like that. And then you just want to coat the entire jar just like this. And um, you know what? It doesn't take long here. I'll talk a little bit while I do this. We're going to have the magic of TV here in a minute because I have one that's already kind of sanded, but I just want to show you something. You want to make sure um, that you get it evenly coated. Um, when I first started making these, if you don't have the glue even over the jar, you'll find patches. Like they'll be real thick in one part and not so thick in another part. And when the light shines through, it looks kind of, you know, mm -hmm. funny. So do you just want to make sure it's an even coat all the way around. That's why I kind of like the foam brushes for this, but these were the ones from the dollar store and I'll never buy these at the dollar store again. Just get the regular ones. They're only a couple bucks more and they the foam brushes tend to work a little bit better for this. So evenly coat. Okay, you get the idea. We're evenly coating the entire jar. Set that aside. Then grab your sand and we're going to roll it in it. We're just going to start like this and roll it, pressing firmly, and just go around the entire jar. Now, for all intent and purposes, your entire jar is covered with glue, you know. I'm just trying to speed this up a little bit. You want to make sure you get an even coat all the way around. And as you can see, like I said before, the little pebbles and the sticks and stuff on there, just leave them on because when it's finished, it's going to look really cool. So roll it maybe, I'm going to say two times, maybe three. You just want to make sure it's even, that's all. And uh, it kind of looks like that. Um, you can look through the inside of it. I can't really show you, but you'll be able to see if there's any spots you missed or whatever. But I can tell we're pretty evenly coated. Um, yep, and that that's what you're going to do. So magic of tv let's see i made one let's use this one i got this jar at the dollar store and uh i did this before we filmed um and this one is uh already coated all the way around with sand and i like the look of this one because um it looks like kind of like a fishbowl i thought that was kind of cool anyway so glue on the jar roll the jar in sand and let it dry now, this is already dry, mm -hmm. so the next step we're going to do is take our spray acrylic and go outside and just do a light coat all the way around it. After it's dry, of course, you want to do a light coat of acrylic all the way around it. It gives it, it, it seals it all in and it gives it a, a nice little kind of gloss to it. I wouldn't say gloss, but it gives it a nice little shine. Um, at this point, if you want one that's like more glossy, more shiny, you can take your tacky glue and you can go over it again after after this acrylic is dried you can go over it again with the tacky glue just like this all the way around again over the sand and allow that to dry and it'll be even more shiny if you like that look i kind of like it kind of matted like this it's just a tiny bit shiny 
So, we sprayed our jar with acrylic and we're going to let it dry. I have a little cheat sheet here because I want to make sure I don't get ahead of myself. Yes, okay. The next step, ah, we'll use this one. Yeah, I didn't do this one. The next step, now in order for proper like, you know, heat management, I, this is just a little safety thing. I don't, I don't know if it's necessary, but for, you know, for me, I do this to all of them. We're gonna coat the inside of the jar. I'll just do it real quick and show you. We're gonna coat the inside bottom only of the jar, just the bottom with some tacky glue. I know, I know, it's probably an awkward little, <laughs> but we're just going to do the bottom. It doesn't have to be neat, not at all, just the bottom only. And we're going to take some more sand, put it in there, spin it around so it's coated. You know, you can tap it down if you want. It's okay. You just want a thin coating of it. Dump it out so that the bottom is coated with sand. This will, you know, help kind of spread the heat out when the candle burns all the way to the bottom. So... That's what you're going to want to do next with the just the inside bottom of it. All right, moving along. Magic of TV. It's already done and dry. Let's see. Let's use this one. This one is another shaped a jar, but I'm sorry. I wish I could remember where I got these. I believe these were candles from Bed Bath & Beyond, but I'm not sure. Anyway, the jar was, there was originally a candle in this jar. Um, and I, uh, this has already been sanded dried, coated with the acrylic spray, and the inside was done already. Mm -hmm. So next we're gonna add some uh, twine to it to give it a nice little nautical look there, a nice little... For the twine, I like to use... Don't, yes. Until the battery dies, we have five. Okay. Or, yeah. He's whispering to me, I think we have like five minutes or something. Yeah. All right, I'll try to speed this up. All right. So we're gonna add twine to it. So. I like to use the permanent glue for this part, okay? Uh, just because I think it's a little um, more uh, stable. So I don't really measure. I just cut a piece and then I trim it later. Hold the jar, kind of get an idea of how much you're going to need. Eh, about to there. All right, that works. We'll cut it. Okay. Now we have our twine, and you're going to take your permanent glue, like that. Oh, I should have had that ready to go. Okay, we're going, so anyway, I'm just going to show you. We're going to put the glue around where you want the twine. For this particular jar, I just put the twine around the bottom of it. The next one, I'm going to show you um, how I did more. I did like three or so. I guess I don't have to do the whole thing. Okay, so with that being held, hold it with your thumb, bring it all the way around. This is awkward because I'm holding it upside down. I usually hold it the other way when I'm doing it, but I'm trying mm -hmm. to show you. Bring it all the way around until they butt up against each other and kind of tap it down all the way around with your finger. This glue dries really quick, so you'll have that look to it and then you want to allow it to dry completely and fast forward boom it's dry mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway this is actually this is the jar that we uh started with this is the um salsa jar so um i put one on the bottom and i put three on the top and as you can see, there that's where they butt up against each other. Now, after that's totally dry, we're going to add some trinkets. This is where the trinkets come in. <laughs> For this one, let's see, we'll do a um, shell and we'll do the anchor. Again, this was an earring and all I did was snip the back off of it. Um, and again, you're going to want to use your permanent glue. But let's see, I'm just going to, for just for this, let's do this. Um, I did that just for the TV, but you're going to use permanent glue for this. I just can't get it out fully and it takes too long. And I think we're on a time restraint here. He keeps giving me these eyes like what? Like hurry up. Is that what you're saying? 
Well, that or it's going to cut you off mid-sentence, and I don't Why want... Why is it going to cut me off? Because Why? we can only record but so long before it runs out of memory or the battery dies. Well, the battery shouldn't die. Well, it's more like it's going to run out of memory. Okay, so I added my trinket there, and I'm going to put there. And we put a shell on the bottom there, so you get the idea. I'll try to hold that on there and show you. To add a little accent to it. Mm -hmm. All right. So then you're going to want to let that dry completely. Okay. And last but not least, really quick. Um, let's see. We'll, we'll use this one for this. This is where we're going to add the felt. The felt we're going to put on the bottom so it doesn't scrape up any tables or anything. For this, you can use the tacky glue. Again, use your brush. Take it to the bottom. If you get the real fancy uh, circles, they have, they're self-stick. You just peel the back off, and they're, they're self-stick. Mm -hmm. But these don't have the self-stick on it. And then we're just going to put that on the bottom, like that. So it makes a nice little bottom for your, for your candle holder. Very nice. If you don't have the circles, again, we'll ju just take a piece of felt, trace around the bottom, cut it, and glue it on like that. Mm -hmm. So I think that's all the steps. Yep, belt circle, da, da 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 and our finished product will look like that. Ooh, very nice. They are really nice, and they do make nice gifts. They do. Very nice. You did good. Oh, thanks. You did good. Now, here's something really exciting. What? Okay, so what I'm going to do is take this candle out. One thing I like to do, mm -hmm. and you can make these or you can buy them. Can you do it in 20 seconds? No, why? Because that's how much time we have. Well, pause it. Sorry, folks. Technical difficulties on my part. And sorry, Mark, for my technical difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to jump right back More in. More than okay. Jump right back in Jump here. right back in where we left off. All right, okay. So that was the finished product. And I took the regular candle out. I also, I also um, and, and I like, this is a really fun thing. If you find or make a patterned votive holder. I hope it doesn't go out when I put it in. The shadow from whatever is on your votive holder will show through. So let's try to do this without putting it out. I practiced, but... Ah, uh -huh, it's birds. And you can see the birds through it. Uh-huh. Now, we'll, I'll show you later, you know, like I have a couple over there I can show you. But uh, if you want to buy them, they have these like at the dollar store with different patterns on them for a buck, two of them. Oh, turn it this way a little. Like that? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and that can go in there. Or you can make your own, you know, um, bold uh, bold things look best, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but I made, like, I just took star stickers and put them on one and put it in. It looks really good. Bandit! Oh. He's doing his nails. Yes. And then, speaking of, these Paws. are paw prints. Yeah. Paw prints shine through. It's really cool looking. It's mm -hmm. really neat looking. Um, but uh, one important thing um, with these, um, I suggest always using a votive, votive holder inside of it. Mm -hmm. That's what they're designed for. You don't want to put just a candle in there because it'll make it all messy and everything. You mm -hmm. don't want to do that. And you don't want to have to clean it out and everything. Yeah. So always put your candle in a holder and, um, and you'll be good. So anyway... Um, I have some set up over there. Um, do you want to pause it and go over? Uh, we can just bring them right over, here, I'll I think. Put, and let me set it over here then. All right. We'll let it join, join we'll the rest join of them. Join the rest of them. Now, doesn't that look... And there's a few that I had finished um, earlier today. And this one has little leaves on it. That has the, yeah, leaves on the votive. That's just a regular... And this has the black and white yeah, sand like you were talking about. this has the black and white sand, yeah. Okay. Put some rope around it. And that's just traditional, as is. As is. And that has the little shell as, yeah, they as have, the decoration. Yeah. And then the back is the birds. The birds. Birds the word, you know. All right. Well, very good. I'm very so impressed. I think, um, it's a very easy, um, very, very easy do it yourself for my first, you know, crafting with Mark mm -hmm. uh, video. I hope I explained everything okay and i hope you enjoyed it mm -hmm. and if you have any questions about making them just just mm -hmm. message me and i'll i'll answer it but we, we like can I, put go ahead like i said these make really 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 nice gifts they really do one christmas i wanted to tell you 10 seconds <laughs> okay i'm done
Well, thank you. I had 10 seconds. That's, we'll use them. Thank you for watching. Thank you Please, for watching. Subscribe. Please subscribe. Check <laughs> us out on smokysteve.com. Right. We'll put a link to the written descriptions from Home Talk. Oh, into yeah, the okay. Thank you all. Bye.